Apparently Ellie. <laughs> yes. What's your science project that you sent with just something floating? It was very weird. Okay, and why are you doing a science project? It's about permeable membranes, and I'm doing it for myself. But hold on. This isn't even for a grade. Are you being homeschooled by your husband? <laughs> so you're actually like doing... it in a month from now. <laughs> so you're doing a science project just for fun? Yeah. Are you going to get it right now? Yeah. I don't think I've ever done homework for fun. I don't think I've ever done homework. Have you ever seen someone take the entire shell off an egg? Well, that's what I'm doing. The... So right okay, now. So, so where, this where, did this, where did this come from and why, please? <laughs> I am so interested in this. Okay, and does well, your well, husband, did he wake up looking to make eggs? What the fuck? Where is the egg? No, well, I'm just using one <laughs> right now. Because, well, okay. So first of all, I tried it a while ago as a kid, but then I kept dropping the fucking egg down the sink. And so my mom was like, stop taking the eggs. Oh, so, how hard is it to keep an egg in your hand? Well, it's slippery. Okay, so yeah. you have an egg. Okay. You have the shell. You don't boil it or anything. You just put it in vinegar and the vinegar slowly dissolves the shell, leaving just this, you know, that, you know, like the, the, when you crack an egg and there's that little like fine yeah. sheet sometimes like when your the shell comes yeah. off right so just leaving that encapsulating the egg so it's just supposed to simulate the cell and the you know the permeable the semi-permeable membrane so you know like um when you put a when you so like i'm gonna then experiment like by putting in salt water and seeing if it'll shrivel up and mm -hmm. then um you know i'll put it in a hypotonic solution and see if it then expands because there's more solutes inside the egg than outside the egg and water likes to move to areas of higher water concentration or sorry no higher solute concentration and vice versa we so like if I put, the same egg or multiple eggs hopefully the same egg will last oh wow but yeah so we're getting we have a little bit of um, you, should do, you should do an experiment where you actually grow a chicken yeah <laughs> like a livestock store like hey you sit me on it for like a while oh. have you ever seen a video someone someone did it one time where they bought like store they they went to the store they bought eggs and then they actually i've never seen that from them. yeah no because hens are sterile i'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah i've never seen that when you all right when you crack that egg open right and it comes out you have the yolk and then there's this little white thing that's on the side of it that's the chicken no, it's not. Yes, it is. Look it up. See so, all the bubbles around it. Yeah. So it. what's what's the end game here? You just it's the you end peel game. It? It's, like I said, the end game is to simulate a semi permeable membrane and then do experiments with hypertonic and hypotonic solutions. Okay, in in English, layman's terms, because I have no fucking clue what that means. What's a semi? -prep? Okay, so you have you have the cells in your body, right? Correct. I know that. Okay, so they're surrounded by the so thing smart. <laughs> I'm not smart at all. There's this thing called the phospholipid bilayer that surrounds the cell. And it okay. only lets certain things in and out of the cell through like passive transport. So like certain water molecules and certain like ions and whatnot can like just pass through as they please. Hence semi-permeability. So not because not everything can go through. So you're like, trying to see what passes through and what doesn't. Well, right. And so like at, at its core, so let's say if I have a hypotonic solution. All right. So that means I just have like plain water. Okay. Understood. A fine type I got you. H two O. I like so I, there's no there's no solutes or anything in From the water. An airplane. Plain water. So and I have the egg in a hypotonic solution. Like I said, water likes to move to areas with higher solute concentration. So the higher solute concentration is going to be inside the egg. Therefore, the water is going to rush into the egg and ideally call and ideally maybe even cause it to burst because it has too much water in it. Okay. And then if I put it in a hypertonic solution, let's say I put it into salt water. Again, water likes to go to areas with higher um, solute concentration. So the salt water is going to have more solutes than the egg. So the water is going to leave the egg and make it shrivel up. Okay. What I'm trying to see. That's it. Yeah. So at the end, it's just going to be like, cool. Yeah. Ah. Uh. It's just a way okay. to visualize. It's just so. A way is to this like what you thought about while you were like recovering from surgery? You were just like, I gotta do something. And eggs are very expensive now, so you're wasting one. No, well, these eggs are like three weeks old, so. <laughs>
Simonella. It, it just made me think about projects we had to do. That's why I brought it up. Uh, remember when we had to do we had to do the bridge project with the popsicle stick? Did you guys? Yeah, Ellie. So we had to like, what was it? We had to like get a hundred popsicle sticks and make like a bridge, and then like our teacher would like and they hung weight on it, hung weight on it, and like whatever one. I see what the strongest one was. Yeah, mine stunk. I hate projects. I hated anything that had to do with just putting things together. <laughs> yeah, I did a project uh, where in a um, wood shop, we had to like construct on cardboard a house. Like if we were to build a house, like a diagram. And like, I didn't, I forgot to put doors on my house. So like, it was just like... <laughs> just <a Okay>. die. <laughs> yeah, so I knew I wasn't fit for man things when <laughs> I was in wood shop. Doors on a house. I decided to make a key in wood shop. Uh we had like it was eighth grade. And like I was like, okay, this is gonna be easy. So, like, you know, you cut the key shape and you had to sand it and whatnot. And there was a girl in our class who also made a key. And hers was significantly better. Like, it was like she got, like, an A plus because her key was so nice. And I was just like, this is embarrassing. So I just, I knew I wasn't cut out for anything. We did do a project, though. Tell me if we get suspended for this now. Okay? So it's kind of crazy how we actually got away with this. We did a project um, in high school uh, where it was the end of the year and you had to do a project visually on a camera that like uh, do like a film where the top moments of the year are things that happened, you know? So in my, a man of many ideas and great ones at that, I decided to do a countdown, like the top five things, like the MTV video countdowns they used to do. Yes. So like we did the, Debate between George Bush and John Kerry and me and Cronin did the debate. Then we did like uh, the Martha Stewart thing where she was she got interviewed for doing the tax evasion. We did the Ron Artest fight where we had like 20 people. You mean Meta World Peace? Yeah, we did that fight. Um, And then we actually did. um, I was (laughs) I was getting interviewed as like a local uh, bystander out in California because I was a witness to the Lacey Peterson and Scott Peterson. Oh my murder. fuck. So we were at the duck pond and this just, damn duck pond. Isn't that where, where Eric's dad drowned their we, turtle? We threw a baby doll in the duck pond and I dragged it out and I was like, oh, it's Lacey Peterson's unborn child. <laughs> And the teacher, the, <laughs> the teacher just looked at me. I was just like, Jesus Christ, Scott. <laughs> like, but he was trying really hard not to laugh. Like, it was <laughs> absurd. And we got an A plus on the whole project. That was number two. Number one was the tsunami. So uh, it was that one tsunami in 04. So we just put a bunch yeah, of Legos in. Yeah, we put a bunch of Legos in a bathtub. And just ran the fucking water. Like, we built a city. And then I was a reporter outside in the freezing cold. And they were just spraying me with a hose and throwing <laughs> shit at me. Like, and, like the wind was blowing. So, would we have gotten suspended for the the number two thing today, do you think? No, I, I think at least the Lucy Peter. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Would we have got suspended for that? Yeah, you probably have to go to some counseling, too. That's Hold on, what's, what's a comparable event? That would have happened. What man? Uh, the Casey Anthony thing. Maybe if someone put like a toy in the trunk, like that, <laughs> that would probably. But then have let the trunk sit in the sun for a few days. Yeah, like and looking back on it, like you know, we were young and like it was. I, no, that's I, what boys do. You go for you're just a bunch of shock jocks. Like, oh, this is kind of fun. Yeah. It was brutal. Though. Like it was so bad. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I actually yeah, have our a picture of our bridge, our eighth grade bridge. Go get project, it. Me, Brian, and Lewis. I can't. It's somewhere. I, I was looking on my phone for it. It looks did so you, bad. Did it, did it hold any weight or no? No, it snapped like a twig in five <laughs> seconds. I was like, I spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> 